and some practice problems dealing with slope, and I'll work these and think out loud as I go. Number one, find the slope of the line shown. This line is graphed and some points on it are marked. We just need to pick two of these points, and it could be any point. It could be any of these points that aren't marked, too. It could be any point on the line at all. But I'm going to pick these two points. I'll call one of them point one and the other point two. And imagine going from point one to point two. And in doing so, you can see we have a rise of one and a run of two. So the slope, which is rise over run, is just one over two, or a slope of one half. For number two, find the slope of the line shown. Okay, I'll use those two points that are marked and think left to right. So that's point one up there and point two down here. And in going from point one to point two, we go down three and over one. So the slope is the rise, which is negative three, over the run, which is one, which is just negative three. Okay, number three, find the slope of the line shown Okay, this line is horizontal, so the slope has to be zero. If you pick any two points on the line, the vertical change will be zero. So the rise is zero, and rise over run, if the rise is zero, it doesn't matter what the run is, zero over anything is zero. And in number four, let's use these points that are marked, and imagine going from point one 2.2. Well, if we do that, we go down 3 and then over. Let's see how far is this. That looks like 3 right there, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's a run of 9. So the slope is rise over run. The rise is negative 3, and the run is 9. And we should simplify that to negative 1 over 3. The slope is negative one-third. Okay, number five. Find the slope of the line through these two points. So this is point one, so that's x1 and y1. And this is point two, so that's x2 and y2. And the change in y over the change in x, well, the change in y will be y2 minus y1. That's 15 minus 3 over x2 minus x1. That's 6 minus negative 4. Okay, 15 minus 3 is 12, and 6 minus negative 4 is 10. And 12 over 10 reduces to 6 over 5, so this line has a slope of 6 fifths, or you could say it has a slope of 1.2. That would be fine also. And number six, find the slope of the line through 2, 6, and 3, 4. Okay, that's point 0.1, 2, 6, and point 0.2 is 3, comma 4. So once again, we'll calculate delta y over delta x. The change in y will be 4 minus 6. The change in x will be 3 minus 2. And 4 minus 6 is negative 2, and 3 minus 2 is 1, so the slope is negative 2.